Give me one second. Take your time. Hello, welcome back to Workforce Wednesday. My name is Emily Petnato. I am the Workforce Development Specialist at the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce and your host of Workforce Wednesday. Joining me today, I have Brian Lotney, the Human Resources Manager at the University of Scranton. Brian, thank you for joining me today. How are you? Doing well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Why don't you start by telling me a little bit about the university? Sure. So the university is a uh, Jesuit Catholic university, um, private Jesuit Catholic uh, institution. Uh, we offer uh, a number of different programs, uh, ranging undergrad, graduate, and doctoral programs. Um, the university uh, was actually founded in, in 1888 by the, by the Diocese of Scranton, um, and it became one of the nation's uh, Jesuit colleges uh, in 1942. Um, we have a transformative education uh, experience. Uh, we are grounded in the liberal arts uh, programs, and um, we sit on a 58-acre uh, hillside uh, campus right here in the heart of Scranton. So, you know, just being one of the the Jesuit 28, um, you know, we're we're proud of that and. Uh, proud of our, our national recognition uh, in, as being a university in Northeastern Pennsylvania. So what are some of the positions you're hiring for currently? So we have a number of positions that are out there right now. I'm gonna just, if you see my eyes move for a little bit, I'm just gonna reference just some of them that we have. That's fine. Um, but um, we do have, um, so we have physical therapy lab assistants, uh, custodial positions, uh, university police officer positions, um, some IT positions available, um, positions and a uh, position in our um, public public relations office, and then most recently posted um, today a part time library position, and then a uh, our deputy Title Nine, and. Uh, Equal Opportunity Coordinator and Investigator uh, for our Office of Equity and Diversity. So it's all over the place. We have a ton of positions, uh, uh, majority of them being full-time. I did do a little bit of research, saw on the University of ScrantonJobs.com that you have probably came up 49 search results. So <laughs> we can't touch base on all of them, but I saw you were hiring for a lot of police positions. Can we you are. talk a bit about that? Sure. So the University of Scranton's uh, police department is an accredited, fully accredited uh, police force. We are the second largest police force in Lackawanna County. Uh, with that accreditation, um, qualified applicants must have that Act 120 certification. Um, and then uh, obviously a, a number of different training opportunities uh, provided uh, once the individual is, uh, the applicant is hired. Um, but much like any other accredited police force, there are a number of different training opportunities that we, uh, that we do provide. What are the additional perks to working on campus? So, I, I mean, our benefit package, I believe is, is second to none. Um, you know, we have a, a comprehensive healthcare plan, um, life, you know, life insurance, voluntary life insurance, uh, an employee assistance program, um, tuition remission for uh, individuals who are employees who want to further their own education and, uh, and opportunities for their family members as well. Um, and again, with the family member process, there's, um, it does take some time, but nevertheless, that, that um, uh, tuition remission is available to spouses and, and their dependents. We're very proud to offer that. If someone were interested in taking a police position or even a facilities position, would they be able to take any classes? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And that's and that's uh, on the immediate. 
um, you know, we that's one thing. Again, we're we're proud to offer that uh, directly to the to the staff member, the employee, um, on, at, right on the immediate. What are some of the educational um, positions you're hiring for? So we have a, a number of uh, part-time and full-time faculty positions, um, both of which can be found or all can be found at our University of Scranton jobs .com, mm -hmm. uh, webpage there, our job portal. And, um, you know, again, we, we highly encourage individuals just to look at the, at, the, at the qualifications to make sure that they believe that, uh, that they fit that, that job description. Um, and, um, you know, the, again, the interview process is a bit different from the staff member, you know, being a staff member um, for full-time faculty members, um, they would, you know, be brought through a specific process through our, our provost office um, and our adjunct positions um, are mainly done through the, the academic department themselves. So, some require searches, um, particularly for full time, um, but our adjunct professors, our adjunct applicants, um, we do have those positions uh, available on a year to year basis, and uh, which helps us because it provides a, a pool of applicants that we can we can draw from. I just want to ask, is the university um, online? Is it half and half online classes? In well, it. Yeah, it, it, it certainly depends. Um, there are classes that are online, um, maybe so more in the in the master's uh, degree programs, but we are uh, our undergrad is 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 mainly uh, on campus uh, an on campus educational facility. What are the qualifications for um, even just an adjunct faculty professor? Um, well, it it's kind of depends. Um, I mean, there are uh, mainly it's master's degree um, uh, required, and um, there are different certifications in, involved. Again, specific to the the hiring department, um, and then obviously, you know, if if it's a PhD is required, they'll they'll put that. But uh, for an adjunct position, uh, the minimum requirement is a is a master's degree. Are there any other positions you want to further talk about? Yeah, sure. So, like I said, <clears throat> we do see um, positions available in our library. Uh, we do see positions available in our facilities departments um, and uh, in our IT di division. I mean, there's um, there are a few positions available um, that we would uh, that I'd be happy to talk to. Um, individuals more about. Um, but like I said, it's we, we, we do direct all of our can all of our applicants to the, the portal. Um, you know, we don't take uh, hard copy resumes or cover letters anymore. Uh, we are strictly uh, an electronic process. But uh, I highly encourage individuals to go out and see just what the university has to offer. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we we're, we're hopeful that uh, interested applicants would uh, just note that if they did, if they did uh, hear um, about this position through our event here today, that they uh, that they note that in the in the application. I know that the job pool is really hard to find people. Why should someone choose the University of Scranton? So the University of Scranton, I, I, I'll say this because I have a, a, a bit of a unique perspective here. I was a, a, an undergrad student, a grad student, and, and now an employee. And um, it's, it's interesting to see from, from the different angles, but it kind of all just fits together. So one of the, the interesting things that I had the pleasure of doing, uh, both as, an, as an, uh, a student and an employee, is um, furthering experiencing my my um, you know, my different life events that take place and what the university offers um, are a number of different service trips and learning experiences. They're offered to, obviously, to students, but they're also off offered to faculty and staff. So from a benefit standpoint, the university provides its staff members 
10 mission and community leave days over a three year period. So I did a service trip uh, back in 2017 to Arizona. It was, uh, a, I believe a four day, a four day trip. I got to use four of those days as paid days of, uh, but furthering my, my learning uh, and uh, service experience. Um, so just one of the unique kind of unique benefits that, that the uh, university offers. Um, you know, why should a, a job seeker choose to work for the, for the university? I think it's, um, it's, it's an, a rewarding employment experience. You know, we strive on our excellent, our tradition of excellence. Um, <clears throat> and we, uh, we'd like to be a part of a community, community dedicated uh, to freedom of, of inquiry and personal development. So we, uh, we're, we're looking for individuals that are interested in that growth, uh, that are interested in, in the, the, what the university shares and what the university has to offer. If I was an interested job seeker, how can I apply? So all interested applicants would go to HTTPS colon backslash backslash, I think I have that right, University of Scrantonjobs.com. And all of our full-time, part-time positions, all of them are listed there, uh, both uh, staff positions, faculty positions, and part-time or adjunct faculty positions. Brian, thank you so much for joining me today. Between you, in speaking with Aramark last week, I just think, why not work at the University of Scranton? Right. Well, thank you, yeah. thank um, you for, uh, for having me. Yes, of course. If you are an interested job seeker, interested in learning more or how to apply, please, again, visit universityofscrantonjobs.com. If you are a business owner interested in registering for a Workforce Wednesday session or learning more about Workforce Wednesday, please contact me at epetnado at scrantonchamber.com or call 570-342-7711. To learn more about Workforce Wednesday, view past sessions, or more job postings from our member businesses, please visit our job board on scrantonchamber.com. Brian, thank you again for joining me today. It was so great to have you. Uh, thank you, I appreciate next it. Next week when we uh, speak to Telespond. So thank you, have a great day.